welcome to the first episode of Alex Off the Leash. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Elder Scrolls Online and their $80 pre-purchase package, which includes a unique race in the game. Well, this has been exploding on the forums and Reddit, so I guess we better discuss it here. Um, the whole idea of what Bethesda is doing is absolutely ridiculous. They are completely on the wrong path. They are entirely on the wrong track. It's one thing to offer items that are very difficult to get in the game as a pre-order incentive, or to offer cosmetic changes, or maybe some XP boosts and things like that. But to have a race that will be unplayable, at least in the beginning, by everyone else there, who didn't feel like doling out $80 for an, a way more expensive unnecessarily more expensive uh, pre-order package is ridiculous. I mean, look at uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. They, uh, in their pre-order stuff, they had certain things like unique lightsaber crystals and unique, uh, you know, transports and things like that. But they didn't have, for instance, hey, you buy the, you pre-order this particular version of the game and you can go play as the Yoda race. That would have been a little ridiculous, would it have not? And on top of this, Elder Scrolls Online is also going to be charging a subscription fee and is going to have microtransactions. So does Bethesda know what the hell they're doing? Because I'm pretty sure we don't. Uh, I Well, I sure as hell don't, because it just seems like they're almost bipolar. They can't decide whether they want to be progressive and catch up with the times, or they want to really, you know, be in the same arena as World of Warcraft, and World of Warcraft's uh, business is kind of dropping a bit lately. I mean, let's be honest about World of Warcraft. That game is on a slow descension into hell. That game is slowly, slowly going to be dying. And Bethesda have to, has to make a decision. Are they going to be investing in antiquity, or are they going to be investing in the future? Let's just keep this in mind. No one today really is using the subscription model anymore. Tor doesn't use it anymore. The games that do use it are kind of smaller. Niche titles, you know, Dark Age of Camelot and things like that. These, If you're releasing a larger MMO to the public, I don't think today's subscriptions are are going to fly. To have to pay a subscription fee and then, oh yeah, at some point you'll probably have to pay extra for a race that you sh that should have been included for everyone in the first place. It's not fair. You know, it's really just gouging the consumer. Honestly, this is why we need some kind of government government oversight when it comes to business practices within gaming because Gamers, consumers in general, are just getting screwed all the time. And I don't think it's very difficult for anyone to see that these practices as being anti-consumer, just like pre like pre-ordered DLC in the same way. We as gamers have to remember that we're all affected when this kind of garbage goes on. Because if one company succeeds, and then another maybe succeeds, then it becomes easier and easier to really con your you know, the, your prospective player base out of their money. And not to say that this is a con, but at the same time, you know, we're being taken advantage of. You know, ten years ago, hell, five years ago, this kind of thing would have not ever even been thought of. It would, would, have, would have just been thought of too brazen and too brash. I mean, if, ever, if anyone even suggested it, you know, you would be said to have a pair of brass balls, but told that that's a stupid idea because people would never agree to that. I don't know what it is. Have they gotten so bold that we've almost just accepted that, be, uh, accepted what they're doing because they are just so bold and in your face? Or are we as consumers just getting soft and not looking out for our own good? This is kind of a wake-up call. I mean, I personally won't be getting Elder Scrolls online, and frankly, if you're worried about consumer rights, neither should you.